Ah, no, no, no. He has family from Ghana. <laughs> I've got family from Africa, white, Asian. Sometimes when I meet West Africans for the first time, obviously I look different. A lot of my friends are British Ghanaians or Nigerians. Um, the moment they see me eating with my hands together and they say, ah, no, no, no. He has family from Ghana. <laughs> After that, ah, he has family from Ghana. It's finished. I'm, I never felt any other barrier after that. Hello, welcome to my channel once again. Today, I am here and today is another day. I think at this point, Ghanaians around the world should try and invest in having Ghanaian restaurant all around the world. Because I feel like now it is not just Nigerians or other Africans that are falling in love with Ghanaian dishes, but I think it's the whole world. Because you can find whites, maybe from Germany, from the US, from the UK, from Finland, Sweden, anywhere in the world. They are just taking over Ghanaian dishes. Talk about wache, talk about fufu, talk about bangkung, all the foods. I'm telling you, all the foods. They just love it, whether they are in Ghana or they are outside Ghana. They just love our foods. And for me... All I will say is that, man, this is a business opportunity for every Ghanaian outside Ghana or perhaps outside Africa. So I have a couple of videos that I want to show you of white people eating Ghana food and the way, like some of them even prepare it. See, I don't want to talk much. Let's go into the video. Watch, come back and talk. You sniffing. <laughs> That's how you know the food's buffing. On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. How would you rate plantain? Like, do you like plantain or do you prefer rice? I don't know. They're both hand in hand. Like, like that's like saying Messi or Ronaldo. You just can't pick one. There might I be a better one. There might be someone better there. There might be someone better there, but... I'm a true football fan. You can't make that decision. You got to respect both of them. You know? Like, you got, you got Messi right here. You got Maradona right there. Wait, no, Ronaldo. The fuck? And then the chicken? That's like Michael Jordan or something. The fuck? <laughs> I'm in Ghana enjoying fufu. Nigeria, I don't know what you got, but Ghana fufu is the best. Is the best. When a brachiosaur sees a big tree fern, yum 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 yum. There's different tastes for different beasts, yum 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 yum. Someone's friend is someone else's feast, yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. A yum yum yum, a yum yum yum, a yum 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 yum. A carnivore will just eat meat. A yum 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 yum. A herbivore eats plants and trees. A yum 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 yum. An omnivore eats meat and plants. A yum 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 yum. Now let's all do the yum yum dance. Yum 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 yum. A yum yum yum, a yum yum yum, a yum 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 yum. A yum yum yum, a yum yum yum, a yum 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 yum. Kofi Ghana. Ne wie ye. Banku. Ghana banku. Ne de. Fre. Ne de. Fre 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 fre. Ye be dine. Pepe, tilapia. Eh, poku. Poku ni na wum. Poku ne vegetables, no. Mhm. Chau num spelele pa. Chau num spelele. Hey, coffee. Then two day nanka nanka jam and need the engadi any brodo. Ah, brodo. There be me jai. What? What jai brodo? Why give me a poker chau coffee? Me patroi. Na ayu wa aden a debi a open wa ayu em. Che. A necessary part. Are they? A true Ghana original taste. A man with true Ghana original taste. Aye. Are you one? Capuli. The pepper and then chop it from the inside too. Boy. Make you enjoy well. 
You must be a vengeful wife. Aye. Aye. Shaninsa. Hmm. Power. Benzani Bemku. Fine, 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 fine. Now, could you, mommy? You are invited. Maybe. Because I'm from Kodi Kofi Bemku, you are. Hello, everybody. Guess who's back? It's been a while. Shouldn't post too often, and it gets boring. A new look, nice hair. Let me know in the comments. It's time. I'm craving for banku, and we have a little fish, of course. And we're gonna make pepper sauce. Easy and nice, basic food from the chef. Grinding. That's what I like most to grind things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apatoyoa, eh? Apatoyoa. And of course, you use the air fryer for the fish. I just season it with salt, pepper, ginger, and a little bit of garlic. That's easy. Welcome back. I think it's ready and I'm so hungry. I want to eat immediately. Well, let's see. Oh, it's still on the... I take some of the banku, put it here. Oh, 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 it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> Ooh, welcome back for the final testing. Yeah, come closer. We have the banku, we have the pepper sauce, and we have one man thousand and the fish, the Ghanaian sushi. So let's see. Mm. And a little bit of the fish too. Come on, don't be nasty now. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh so good. Come, I'm gonna to post more videos now. So, welcome back, Aquaba. You are not trying these street foods, you are doing Ghana wrong. Like it? I love it, but it's very spicy. Should I bring you water? <laughs> Should I bring you water? I don't know if water is enough. <laughs> you, you like ice cubes? Milk. <laughs> yes, yes, is there milk? <laughs> so tell me. Mm, it's not. It's not at all. Sometimes this is. Mm -mm. <coughs> it's not my name. You need water? No, no, no. I just. It was in the wrong hole. <laughs> Hello guys, it's your boy at Africans TJ and yes, for the first time in my life, I was surprised by my two white friends. Crazily, they prepared for me a wonderful African cuisine, specifically a Ghanaian dish, a very popular one of course, known as fufu and a peanut butter soup. They said if you are inviting a Ghanaian to your home, make sure you add egg to all his meal, even when you are giving the person water. This worked actually, yeah. I mean, the most interesting part of the video is watching my two friends eat with their hands for the first time. They trying this for the yeah, first time, busted my brain, guys. Like, oh let's enjoy this video. I don't know what I love it more, the soup or the eating with hands. 
Yeah, yeah there's a reason why the African people eat when they can because it gives a different, it's a different feeling altogether. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's and it's a different experience, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we do believe that it also gives there's a form of respect to the food. If you have food with soup, when you're eating mm -hmm. soupy food, you need to use your mouth to eat less soupy food. Mm -hmm. Because then sometimes, <laughs> because it has a lot of, you know, spicy and stuff, so when you're taking it, you can control how you consume it with the hand. Mm -hmm. That's a mix though. But I'm too white for the spice nuts. <laughs> I, am white, I am more white than I know that. It has a lot of ingredients that helps boost the immune system. Yeah, it's exactly. And there are some pretty ingredients that she used. Can you please mention some of the ingredients? How many are pepper? Mm -hmm. What are you? Onion. Mm -hmm. And um, the peanut butter. Peanut butter and um, uh, tomato paste. Even this is ginger. Also, it's the ginger, oh, ginger, which is very, very good. For the, African man. the moment I mention Africa, man, look at their faces. Look, 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 look. Wow, bad girls. So clearly, people are just loving Ghana food. And for me, at this point, as I said, this is a business opportunity for every Ghanaian outside Ghana. This is an opportunity for you to set up a business so that even Ghanaians in the diaspora definitely will not find it difficult finding Ghana food anywhere they go or anywhere they travel to because I think food is also one thing that every Ghanaian misses whenever they travel. Food is one thing that they miss a lot when they travel outside Ghana. Because just look at the videos that I showed you. One old white man, I think this man, I've seen him on social media preparing Ghana food back to back himself. Or I don't know whether he has a Ghanaian wife behind the scenes or I don't know. You see some of the videos that I showed you, some of them have um, Ghanaian wives and I think they prepare the food for them to eat and they've actually showed them how to eat the food. Look at the other man that was eating the food with a kid. He should even give the kid some, but this man is just loving the food and he doesn't want to give the kid. His own child though. Like, <laughs> man, if you are a Ghanaian, as I said, this is a business opportunity for you. Business opportunity. Just establish Ghanaian restaurant anywhere that you are and i'm very sure you are going to make millions out of it ghana food all the way because some of us when we travel this is one thing that we miss and i'm sure everybody does as i've said before ghanaian foods are very addictive they are very addictive no matter who you are and as you all know Ghanaians, we love our culture so anywhere that we go anyone that we meet we try to introduce our culture to them. The language, the food, anything, anything that's available, we just do that. And this is one thing that Ghanaians are actually known for. We are proud, very, 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 very proud of our culture. I thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.